So here we have a patient monitor which came in for no power. The model is Mindray Mech 1000. But when I switching on the unit, the machine is switching on, but nothing is coming. I am checking the display now, but there is no response, as you can see. But the light is coming, indicator is coming, but still it is not working. So we have to disassemble the main board. And I open the device and switching on the unit. And this LED is coming. But there is no response on another four LEDs which, which is here. This one. And I was testing this uh, test points and I got 0 0.67 volt. Now what I'm going to do is see under the microscope and see what is happening. I can't see anything obvious. And I didn't see any blown components or missing components. Whenever you are looking for SMD board or, or SMBS board, you have to look look the blown components. So that will be helpful to do the initial repair. Always do the visual inspection. That will make sense whenever you are doing the SMBS service or SMBS SMD service. Here I'm seeing nothing. So I want to check the components, random components with a multimeter and see if there is any shot. Before that I need to check my thermal cam which I bought yesterday. So let's connect the board into the monitor and see what is happening under thermal cam. Let's switch on the unit under the thermal cam and see the component is heating. That must be shorter to the ground. That is why it is giving a heat signal. And which component? So I found that IC near the capacitor have to be shorted, this one, this IC must be shorted to the ground. Let's check it with multimeter and see if it, if it is shorted or not. Put the multimeter into the diode mode and this is that IC and that cap so I'm getting a shot up here. and first pin, second pin, third pin, fourth pin and fifth pin we got shot everywhere on top and uh, caps also and inductor so if you if you are doing SMD repair if if you uh, got shot in uh, inductor, you, you can assume that uh, the board got shorted. Some component sh must be shorted to the ground. That's the easiest way I am always following. So everyone having different tricks. And thermal cam shown that this IC is faulty. So let's remove it and check whether the shot will be gone or not.
before removing the components you should apply flux that will help to remove remove the ic from the board easily you should careful on nearby components and nearby connectors because it is plastic so it will be melting down so be careful in it whenever you are heating don't apply too much of pressure on any ic or any any caps or cap, uh, any resistors or whatever you should go with flow heat doesn't matter but uh, if you are uh, giving over pressure it may break that pads and you know you have to reassemble the pads so be careful whenever you are de dealing with uh, desoldering these kind of things and i am using it uh, at 450 degrees celsius which is good enough that cap also came down but it doesn't matter we can easily fix it like general push and apply heat that's it and make sure if it is fitted well and the ic we remove that ic so now we have to check the check the short on capacitor and inductor and see what is going to happen now you can see the short is gone on capacitor and inductor which means that ic is faulty so we have to change that ic right now i don't have that ic if i am getting that i can make another video so this is the size of that ic and i am putting the memory card nearby and you can see it this is the biggest advantage whenever you are having the microscope hope you like this video leave a comment if you have any questions we'll see you soon with another video thank you so much